Hello and you're very welcome to my new show, The Late 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 Show, even though it's about 3 o'clock in the day, but fuck it. How are you getting on anyway folks, are you doing well? Coming up on today's show, I'm going to be looking at a bit of local news, seeing what people are doing during the self-quarantine, are they keeping themselves busy? Also coming up on the show today, I'm going to be giving you some tips on what you can do to keep yourself busy in the house, and we'll be talking to local man Kev. Stick around, it's going to be great. So, yeah, where do we start off? Let's start off with, uh, I suppose, talking about the coronavirus. Sad enough, you can't walk down the street. Nobody there anyways, you know. Uh, people don't want to talk to you. People are putting stuff on their hands. People are staying in their houses. And uh, people can't go to work, so that's tough. But this show is all about changing all that. And actually, speaking of which, later on in the show, I'm going to be talking with a lad called Kevin. Another Kevin. And he's going to be uh, talking to us about the power of now which is a great book, and he sent that over to me there a couple of days ago to read. And there's some great stuff in here, like, um, uh, let's see, let's see, no, that's shite. Uh, we'll be getting Kevin in later on to give us some of his favourite parts about that book, and obviously he'll be doing it from a very safe distance, because that's what we have coming up in today's show. Thank you for uh, tuning in today. Tea's up, hope everyone's enjoying the tea. I'd say Barry's and Lions are making a fortune from all the tea that they're selling to people. Um... And it's a funny one because two weeks ago, I'd say coffee sales were through the roof. Everyone was out buying coffee because they're running around to their jobs and stuff like that and trying to make a few pounds for themselves. But nowadays, because everyone's in the house, you don't really need as much caffeine in your life. So I'd imagine that tea sales are gone up. Actually, if you work for Barry's or Lines, give us a shout. Call us or call us on the number 0870922384. It's going to come up there, up there on the screen. Give that number a shout. Or you can email me at uncolly at gmail.com. And I'd love to know. Actually, you know what? Send me out a couple of boxes of Barry's tea. Please. That'd be great. So I'd appreciate that now. Ten ways to stay busy during the virus. Paint, that's one of them. So if you want to start painting or anything like that, whether it be the walls of the house, or you want to do a bit of Bob Ross and start painting mountains, now is the perfect time. Squat. A lot of people, especially in Ireland, we're, lo- we're loving the gym these days, and you want to stay in shape. So I'd advise you to, when you're making tea, do a couple of squats there in the kitchen. Um, shave your balls. That's keep going with that one because I've got that done anyway. Go on YouTube if you want to go on YouTube. Check out a load of videos there to be watching on YouTube. You have um, what else can you do? You can go. Um, you can text a stranger if you want to text somebody you don't know. Make up. I said before, make tea instead of coffee because let's face it, tea it's, it's time for tea. And if you're out there and you're working for Lines or Barry's, give us a shout. Send tea. I put my address there as well if you want to send it to that address there. Um, big big box of tea bags, please. You could write a letter to Maureen in the post office, let her know you ha- that she has your support and that you're looking forward to seeing her after all this is blown over. Um, or whoever your Maureen is, I know it's my Maureen. She works down the post office and I've got great time for her. Um, myself and Maureen. We're, we're, we only started going out recently and it's a shame now with this fucking virus that I can't even talk to her. But we've been texting, we've been Skyping. We, we were Skyping last night and uh, let's just say that we had sex on Skype last night. <laughs> and um, yeah, that was good fun actually, yeah. Welcome back. Now, every show we're going to be talking to a guest, seeing what they're up to. Um, some people might have issues they want to talk about or they might have a couple of questions that they want to ask me. And this is where that part of the show starts, I suppose. Today we're going to be talking to a man called Kevin who's had an issue with uh, Tesco. And the way that they're stuck on their shelves. Kevin, are you there? Oh, I'm here, all right, yeah. How are you? How are you doing, Kevin? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm grand now. Yourself? Good, yeah. Thank you very much. Now, what's your problem, Kevin? I was down Tesco, right, the other day. I was in to buy some kiwis, right? Do you know the Tesco there in town? Yes, I know it, yeah. Well, I went in there anyways, right? And I went in to get bag of kiwis, a couple of other bits, sausages, yeah. pudding, whatever. And I walked right, in the yeah. door, right? And um, I went, I went over to the kiwi aisle to see what I could pick, but put my hands on. Right, so you're telling me that you went into Tesco to get yourself a bag of kiwis and they weren't there. So what did you do? Well, they were there. The kiwis were there. But the thing is, there was another woman there and there was only one bag left. Mm, right? Yeah. So she wanted to take this last bag of kiwis. And I thought, fuck that, uh, my kiwis. Right, you know? right. Um, it's a tough one, Kevin. It's a tough one. Would you eat kiwis normally? I wouldn't, but like, look at the times that are in it. And they're very healthy. Yeah, they are. That's right, yeah. Apparently they're... Full of antioxidants, Kevin. Oh, stop. They're unbelievable. Mm, mm, and full mm. of goodness, you know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I just want right, to keep okay, so, her. It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Who was in the shop first? Was it you or her? 
sure I wasn't looking. I think it was her, but I don't know. I don't care. If she was there before you, she deserves the key Gosh, because that's, bollocks, that's um, bollocks. well. One, one second now, please, Kevin. Let's look at a bit of a positive light, uh, light, life, light. Let's look at a positive light of what's going on in the world today. And as I said to you, on the power of now is a great book. And um, I'm joined by my guest. Well, actually, he's out in the car. He can't come in, but um, I think we have him here somewhere. So. Where's the where's the button? Are you there, she, Dwayne? Hi there, I'm here. How are you, Dwayne? How are you doing? I'm very yeah. good. And you? Good, thanks. Now, yeah. Good. So tell us, Dwayne. What's um? How have you been keeping during this this epidemic or pandemic? It's been very sad. Good. Extremely. Yeah. Sad. Very good. Yeah, but I've yeah. been keeping good. Well, tell us um, tell us if you don't mind how of course how uh, you keep yourself positive. By by thinking about positive things, I suppose, like. Words that sound good, like happy, smiling. Yeah. Um, All right. Uh, money, stuff like that, you know. And Very good. So, would you say uh, breathing techniques is a good way to sort of keep yes. the energy levels uh, in control, buddy? Bre- yes, indeed. Breathing techniques. Yeah. Breathe in your mm. nose, out your mouth. It's very, very. Can we do one first there now, please? Yes, of course. It's... <sighs> I feel better already. breathing mm-hmm. very good for the lungs yeah <coughs> excuse me very good that's brilliant yeah great stuff thanks for that alright chat to you soon good luck bye coming up next guys spiders do we need them you know they're, they are out there in the fields and stuff like that and now that I'm in the house I see a lot of those little small little fellas I don't know what they're called what are they called again they call like look like little armadillos about that size and I see flies and I see bugs and everything and it's I'm not going to lie to you, it's beginning to do me fucking head in. Do we need spiders? You know, when you think about it, what have they done for us over the years, really? You know, spy, like they walk around the house scaring people. Final thought of the day, hope you keep them well. Look after yourselves, look after everybody else, and um, just stay at home, try to enjoy yourself, and uh, just drink tea, I suppose. I'll see you again next week. All right, take care, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you for watching, much appreciated. And don't be wanking all the time, either. <laughs>